guys how's it going so welcome back today we're gonna talk about how to edit real estate photography uh, and actually I jumped to the a process of editing those images in a way I'm doing new weddings so this is very very similar very simple very natural night is natural and it is exposed a little bit better so I have to like pull a little bit shadow uh, here more than like for um, uh, weddings but still I'm keeping this very very natural and I think this is the way how it should be done so I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this previously I've also doing like a um, uh, blending in Photoshop those images so I just layer like three images and just start using mask and the brush to expose those parts of the image uh, that are uh, looking better but right now I'm blending everything in Lightroom, merging this to HDR and pulling uh, everything what I can from this image in the very the same way like I'm doing uh, weddings. So let's get into this. So let's start recording and to record in a MacBook you have to click Shift Command 5. It's gonna show you the little icon. You click it and we have a dot over here on the right side. Okay, so Lightroom is already opened. Here we have some files on the right side. I moved them already uh, to the to the viewer. We see all of them. All of them are marked, so we are importing them. Da -da -da -da. Okay then. So for real estate, like I'm doing like um, exterior shots outside. Mostly I'm not using bracketing, so I'm not like create like few shots uh, to combine them. I'm taking just one shot from like each of the corner or the place I like. Uh, mostly these cameras right now have such a great uh, sensor that really you can bring a lot from the image so one shot outside is more than enough and you don't have a noise you don't have to deal with the noise so as you see we have just one image over here uh, you can on the right side actually start adjusting um, like some basic exposure and add, add like a preset but I've never been using this so I will jump right away to developer uh, and yeah here we have our first image let's crop it so we don't have this car on the left side we don't have my car on the right side we still want this driveway it's a nice point of center over here uh, and yeah should be nice and good so because this is outside shot I will give it a little bit more warm especially when we're gonna jump right after to Photoshop to replace the sky uh, okay we don't have a sky too much here but we're gonna give a little bit more exposure I don't want to use contrast shadow you can actually add it a little bit this is something very common in real estate that people actually like to expose like everything so they really pull like this shadow up to the end and it's creating like this unnatural feeling that I don't like but I have to do this I'm going like in the middle somewhere and yes i like pull up a little bit whiteness up black a little bit down and texture and this will make uh look this will make you as you see property a little bit more sharper and yeah i'm not playing with yellows i don't like yellows in inside of the property yellow look cheap i'm telling you outside is good but inside not really uh, I don't know it's gonna recognize my lens I'm using 12 to 24 f4 mostly I don't know after this update I cannot it cannot find my lens but um, 12 to 24 my lens retailer is so cool that I have zero distortion there I can you know it's not making this fisheye effect none look it looks good this is some actually video that I'm gonna do very very quickly so it's mm, you know it's just way I want to show you how I'm doing things so it's not like I, I will say 100% correct because I always spend a little bit of time to detail all my shots I try to be perfectionist so you also should be okay then so we are staying here and we are keeping this adjustments everything here yes dig 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 we have everything I'm not using clarity clarity is giving you it's good for weddings if you wanna 
and release a little bit of this blurriness in the skew or add blurriness on the skew and dehaze is more for like a uh, if you have like a like it's hard to explain like a misty uh, image and you can like play a little bit if you want to remove it don't don't use it I, i'm not really uh encouraging to do this so here auto so auto actually here will stripe the images so if you have for example um, image that is a little bit you know tilted curve or something it will stripe this up you can use also um, some like here the options that transforms give you sometimes i scale it a little bit and if you have a little prob big problem to uh, make it straight you can use these lines and just draw one line over here second line over here like a vertical lines and this will automatically adjust uh, the image but we have a good result from auto so i'm not doing this anything else not really so sometimes you're gonna use these options here too to remove like a spot somewhere for example let me uh, let me zoom in to this beard over here uh, for example, you don't want a beard, imagine that this is like a kind of the, um, I don't know, if you have a dust in your camera, you want to remove it, right? So here you have a content hour feel kind of, so you just click it once and it's gonna disappear. You can use actually the second one, this is more common and very often more precise. So it marked the place and now you're just showing you the... Uh, the spot that it should like source the pattern from and put it there So this is exactly what I'm using if I want to remove some like a little stuff uh, From the from the uh, image and that's Basically it here. We are jumping uh, right right clicking here going to we are going to edit Photoshop bank edit with Lightroom adjustments yes please come 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 okay we are in photoshop i like in photoshop when i if i'm jumping the, to photoshop always use a little bit like a, a brightening tool to um, you know uh, make it a little bit brighter in a spot that is too dark but not too much use it like with cautions just a little bit okay, in this case we don't have to correct too much everything looks very very nice so we are going to edit sky replacement uh, it's gonna find the sky I'm mostly using this one because I like it could not complete your rig because program has an error why a program has an error in the middle of my uh, video yes it's replacing the sky cool so edge is the place where we have to um, for example if it's go a little bit onto your home you can shift the up the the edges where it started and we have uh, edit shifted uh, I don't want uh, too much of a fade is just fade is just this blurry effect that's going from the object one to object two so from the like you see home and the sky so it's gonna reduce this blurriness and here because it's getting a little bit darker over there so we're gonna go down with this adjustments here and we just bring back this nice bright look at the top uh, our home that's basically it all we have to do is just uh, command s save it and that's it okay so we have an image uh, saved as you see right now we have a, a image ready in lightroom and let's uh, jump into the another one so interior fit uh, we are marking those uh, bracketing images we took command g we are grouping them nicely so stacking them or you can also go here staging group into the stack uh, with the shift we are marking all of them staging group into the stack bank we have the image and yes so what we have to do now is right click and we have to uh, also merge them so we are going to photo merge HDR now it's gonna combine those all five images into the one don't use the ghosting because it's a crab it's gonna um, create some kind of mist 
look and you don't want that there it merge Kaliga merge actually what I like when it's a little bit darker because uh, it's give me this possibility to pull a lot from the image so yeah let's pull this up a little bit I don't like using contrast highlight is going down it's already making the image a little fake but still we are in a good way shadows ah, I don't like to use it but I have to go up whiteness the same a little bit black down here so super nice we have before we have after what I don't like is always these yellowish colors that are somewhere on the um, image but here we have everything um, in order I think so we don't have to play with it I will go down with a, a little bit with with this blue I don't like blue blue also is something that should be removed inside green can stay actually I like when it's green on it so yeah definitely it's okay if you wanna like like bright up a little bit these elements here like um, a ceiling you can just always grab a, a brush tool and use it this way so you can just mark the spot where you want it to be brighter and add a little bit of exposure so if you want to add a little bit here and here also um, you can just use brush sometimes I can go down with the saturation to remove also color and that's basically it okay do not don't do too much so clicking escape we are getting out from the selection okay next one is tone curve so here mostly I just pull a little bit dark uh, area and that's basically it I don't using this too often but sometimes I have to that really depends on the image but Sony is doing so great job that I don't have to use it really with the colors and brightness is really outstanding here we already are just a little bit this what we want color grading I'm not using at all nearly detailing so sharpening of course is going up uh, texture I will pull a little bit texture up here so we want this texture we want to get this image a little bit sharper I forgot about this so texture is going up sharpening a little bit not too much denoising yes for interiors but also like 15 points 16 points is more than enough sometimes you have a more like a noise then you have to use it more here is the problem not always this uh, bad boy recognize my um, after the update actually stop recognizing my uh, lens I don't know why but uh, the camera really is doing a good job uh, lines everything is are straight uh, we don't have any uh, like um, um, bar distortion here so I'm keeping this way uh, auto as you saw before outside works really nice as you see it's collect a little bit but not uh, too much but overall you have to remember that when you're going doing real estate guys it's really really vital that you make those photographs at the location uh, very very good so you don't have to work too much on post-production because seriously it's much more effort here than doing this uh, during the uh, production stage so keep it always straight if you have it uh, camera on the tripod stay uh, do everything what you can to keep this camera in perfect balance horizontal and vertical and also uh, adjust the white balance this is two uh, things that are very important things and also ISO lowest always the best so 100 400 ISO is the highest you should use for photography so those three things so ISO um, yeah, be sure that everything is leveled at perfectly center and also white balance and you don't have to do too much after in post-production okay so it's perfectly fine yeah we don't have to do anything here so we're jumping to another one as you see i don't like this red reddish color over here so let's just do editing for photo merge hdr uh, let's blend it nicely okay guys so let's do this brightness up contrast I'm not touching prefer to have the on the lowest side highlights going down whiteness are going up shadows and we can go all the way up black down 
texture, here nothing, here and I don't want this uh, reddish color here. So greeny, greeny it's going down but I saw here is a lot of yellow so yellow we pulling down yellow going to the red one we also gonna go down with the red one oh, okay so it's more orange it's more orange yeah we want to keep it clean nice white green I will go back with it so we have this little guy over here back so I'm not using this going down sharpness a little bit noise reduction yes please we have to do this because it's showing this barrel distortion and this happening because we have a very narrow space so let's oh it's recognized my uh, lens you see this automatically wow it took you a while one, one time is working fabulous, the other time is not looking, working at all. Okay, it's good, but auto alignment didn't work precisely, so we have to click this bad boy here. And yeah, we're gonna mark this spot, we're gonna mark this spot. And we're also gonna mark this spot. This spot to this spot should be good guys but you know what I will change this to more like a yellow yeah now it's look much better the reddish color it was like a little bit disgusting now looks better all correction are done here so let's play a little bit with this And yes guys, that's basically it. So guys, you can use also this pipette to click it somewhere on the white space when you want to know where it's white space and it should be white space and it will balance the whole image. But I'm not using this, I prefer to use uh, sliders but also you can use it and then adjust the proper white balance. Uh, so as you see, exposure went a little bit up, contrast state, highlight uh, completely down, shadows in this case, uh, we have full up whiteness uh, we can go a little bit with whiteness i like whiteness a lot and it's good i like it black a little bit down because i like this other black elements to be darker texture a little bit uh, here i'm not doing anything sometimes i'm just pulling uh, the shadows here we play a little bit with the color we remove this terrible red one here from the left side uh, where cabin is uh, where shower is Sharpening, noise reduction, a little bit applied, uh, my lens with some distortion correction because it's really, really narrow hue, so that's why it creates this barrel distortion. Overall, its uh, lens is perfectly fine with the wider spaces here. We use guides to correct it and make it more straight. And that's basically it, guys. So let me know how do you like it. So as you see this first image is a little bit fake i know i know but like you know i'm doing my best to just not fake it too much but you know you have to play because uh, with this you know in a better way because you know realtors like to shine so let's help them shine guys and yeah that's basically it so like and subscribe guys stay with me links down below if you want to support me if you have a wedding also i um, highly recommend weddingandemotions.com and that's basically it stay with me and i will see you in the next one bye like and subscribe